Coach, thanks for doing this. And it is really a pleasure to talk to you amidst a super unique circumstance. And before we talk tennis and what was a great year, not a good year, but a great year that you were in the middle of, the most important thing is health and wellness and safety for everybody as we're trying to figure out how to get through all this stuff. Yeah, this is this has all been crazy. I think um, I think our governor, Governor Inslee, has done an amazing job, and um, Kirk Schultz, our president, and Pat Chun, our athletic director. Those are three just tremendous leaders. So I've just been trying to follow directions from those guys and do what they tell me. So I've just been staying home and washing my hands a lot. Um, I think I've probably washed my hands more in the last two weeks than my entire life. <laughs> You're right, like dry, not you're super dry. Yeah, <laughs> you you were in the midst of a you were ranked 31st in the country. You're 11 and three. You had an incredible start to this year. It's a bummer to have to have an abrupt end to a season, no matter what, in in a unique circumstance like this. But you're looking to go back to back NCAA tournaments this year. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, there's things that are that are bigger than sports and my team. But um, yeah, really bummed for our players and our program. We were really off to a great start and would have loved to have seen kind of what we, what we could have done. Um, we, wanted to, we wanted to host the first two rounds of NCAAs. We would have had to be in the top 16 to do that. Um, out of all the teams I've had at, here at Washington State, I think this team um, could have done that. So it's, it's kind of a bummer. Yeah, you've beaten Utah and Colorado. You were 2-0 to start in league play, weren't you? Yes, correct. And, I mean, always easier said than done. I mean, to go back-to-back -back NCAA tournament. Why do you think this team was the best? What, what, what made them so good? You know, I think just together, um, they, you know, all pulling in the same direction, um, so disciplined. Um, you know, they, they all just expected to win every time they stepped on the court. Um, they were never really satisfied. And I, and I don't think we were playing our best tennis yet. So I think, I think we just left a lot out there. That, that hopefully was going to kind of develop and happen. How good is Michaela Bayerlova? She's really good, really good. I, I really hope, I really hope they all get the year back. Um, but yeah, Michaela, she could definitely be the first player ever to go to four NCAA individual tournaments. Wow, yeah, she'd played a bunch of pro tournaments in the fall, right? Right, right. So she's about 500 in the world. Um, wow world rankings which is which is a tremendous accomplishment um she's 46 i think in the country in college um and i think she would finish much higher than that if things would have played out wow yeah she was undefeated this year right undefeated, yeah she, has, she hasn't lost a tennis match all year yeah wow. who are some of your other standouts um you know all, all of them i think i can't say enough about our about our senior captain um, melissa tess she's climbing up the the wins leaderboard or whatever you however you say that I think she's number seven right now and I think she would have finished in the top four at least um and she's been just an amazing captain for us just a just a great human being so we're hope hopefully she'll get another year how is it tennis that's so international or is it the way that you recruit that's so international because you've got players from all over the world yeah you know what it's our sport so um, internationally, tennis is the most popular female sport. Hmm. Um, we always look um, here first in the U.S. and then sure. kind of broaden it out. But yeah, we have nine players in nine different countries. That's um, amazing. It's yeah, it's it's actually I think it's really a special thing though, and they all come together for you know one goal, and um, they're all coogs and um, yeah, it's definitely a family atmosphere and there, nobody has family close by except for Maddie in Puyallup. So. Amazing. Cyprus yeah. and Taiwan and Belgium. Yeah. I mean, it is, it's everywhere. Now, not only is it multicultural and in and of itself, probably interesting, they're all really bright. <laughs> You've got an incredible team GPA that leads the athletic department. Yeah, re really, really. Um, I think they had a 3.61 last semester. Wow. Um, and speaking of uh, disciplined, achieve, achievers they weren't even that happy with that they think they can do better so wow. now now they have a lot of extra time on their hands so we'll see we'll see how good they can do this semester yeah I, i'd always heard that when you have academic success i mean it's not it's not a direct correlation but tell me if it's fair to say that the discipline required for books often correlates to athletic success because they're sort of transferable skills i agree yeah i think so
Amazing. Coach, thank you. Thank you for the time. Be safe. Be well. No, thank you. You too. Uh, thank you. And I, th it's great to talk to you. It's a unique way to do it. And uh, <laughs> I'm glad we can, but I'm also excited to see everybody in person sooner rather than later, we all hope. Awesome. Thanks, Chess. Thanks, see you later. Coach. Bye.